What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 44. Fo fo Moses Malone, fo fo fo. 44 weeks you guys have joined me making the Needed Podcast a staple in the Madden community, man. And this is a big warm-up show because today we are talking about the Classic. It is this weekend. It is in Texas, man. So if you guys are going to be there, man, I'm happy to meet all you guys. Um... It's going to be fun for sure. I think every event uh, that we have is going to be fun. This is the first um, pretty much open tournament since last year in Vegas. was about a year ago. Um, we heard that um, Clowney is going to the Eagles. That would be very nice. But anyway, like I said, if you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button. Comment on if you guys have gone to a Madden tournament before and why didn't you guys want to go to the Madden Classic? Um, it is in Arlington, Texas. It is in Cowboys territory. Um, <clears throat> I'm excited about it. I really am uh, because I feel like I haven't seen anybody since Jacksonville. Honestly, I've seen Kiv and Skimbo and Problem. That's about it in the last couple weeks. So. For me, um, I'm excited about it. I'm disappointed. I didn't know if I was going to go. I didn't know if I was going to attend the classic for a handful of bunch of different uh, a bunch of different reasons. And um, because of that, I signed the signups were the signups to close or to sign up for the band classic was August 20th. Uh, once I learned I was going to go, it was about August 14th, and I tried to sign up and I didn't. It was already full, so I do not have. A ticket. I have not registered in the Man Classic. I have done everything I could privately in the last week to try to just make sure if somebody doesn't show up. Because, I mean, as 120 people, or they says, however many it is, somebody's not going to show up. I've done everything I could to make sure if somebody doesn't show up or somebody cancels that I could have that spot. But it's looking like they're not going to give me that spot. Um, I've actually even had people tried to give me their spot so it's looking a little rough as far as that's concerned but i will be there you know i will be at the door you know if they let somebody play it will be w if they don't i'll just be there with my friends honestly i'm disappointed uh yeah stuff that's to see people signed up and people can't go and i can't play we'll see like i said i got two more days to figure it out it's a lot of people um and stiff problem was the same way problem told me i was texting problem today so Man, I'm not going to go. You can have my spot. So we shall see about it, man. Yeah, yeah, the W versus Clef would be too powerful. I mean, like I said, I like myself. I, I like myself. Honestly, the more I know you, and man, the, see, this is why I played Kiv twice, and Kiv fucked me up. Because I don't know I don't know Kiv. I don't know how his heart beat on the man field. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that, that's, I never played him in the leaderboards. Never played him. In, he just pops up on me and surprises me. But these guys, shout my man Queezus, my guy. But these guys, Skimbo and Clef, I know how they heartbeat. And when you know when you know how they heartbeat, you you know how to attack them. I'm saying that's different. But like I said, I don't have, I'm not registered for the classic. Um, I've done everything I could. Like I said, so two more days, uh, three more days, really till Friday to figure that out. So hopefully I'll be able to play. For me, um, I feel pretty good at the game. I like playing the game. Uh, I haven't played regs near. I've probably played. 50 games of regs. I wish I... Uh, every time, this time of the year, we get to the point where it's like, damn, I should have played more regs. And uh, an interesting part I want to talk about that's not on one of my topics over here. One of the interesting things I want to talk about is Rage had made a tweet that uh, money games and stuff like that are where that where Twitch used to be popping with money games and regs and everything. <clears throat> For me... It's not, you know, and for me, if I want to build a stream the first month, it's like you don't want to sit here and play regs. You know, that's not where everybody's attention. That's not where the viewers attention are. So this is like the fourth year in a row where or the third year in a row where it's like, OK, regs is the mode we're playing the first tournament on. But bam, I want to grow my stream. Let me play the shit out of mutt. So you kind of get caught in this thing where I want to play mutt, 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 that you really don't have time to go ahead and play regs. And yeah, I want to get as many games as I can offline. But shit, it's not really, it's really not been that much time for me offline. You know, it's pretty much play Madden and, and play Madden. You know, this is, a, there really isn't that much offline stuff. So for me, it's, it's always a tough balance. And when we get to these tournaments, it's kind of like, 
uh, you get to these tournaments, it's like, damn, I should have played more regs. You know, it's always it's always a little bit too late. And, you know, and I feel, and I, I, as I sit here and talk to Skimbo, and he's played nothing but regs for a whole month. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Wesley. I, I, I listen. I'm doing what I can. I've reached out to everybody. Um, me and EA, we're not on the best terms. So, uh, I mean, half the people respond to me, others don't. So, like I said, I'll be there. I'll be there sitting outside the door at 8 a.m. or whenever it is on Friday. So, we'll see how it works out. But, like I said, I I haven't played a game much. For me, and Wesley and Joe Rice is in the chat, the um, Texans Club Series champion. I mean, you, you. what happened to you last year with points is like the main reason why I want to, you know, that's the main reason I want to show up, try to make a little run. And uh, try to make a little run, but um, I don't want to not get those points. Because Wesley missed out on the Ultimate League or the Madden Bowl for a couple points because he didn't go to the Classic. You know, and it's tough. If you're going to rely on points, it's tough to make the Madden Bowl without going to every tournament and accumulating points in every tournament. So that's a big deal. Um, but like I said, it is a tough balance between regs and mutt, especially if you want to be a streamer. If you want to be a streamer, you want to be a content creator. The angle is Mutt 1,000%. You know, there's so many people that play Mutt. So many people that are so interested in Mutt. And, and the Regs audience... Uh, the Regs audience is... um, The Regs audience is there, too. So, I, But I will tell you, this is a little harder to captivate the Regs audience. I think the Regs audience is a lot of people that don't know about Twitch. People that don't know about the Internet. <laughs> you know, well, not necessarily the Internet. But, you know, like the whole esports gaming side of gaming you know so i think they're a little bit lost race people are just normal people honestly but the people that watch mutt they're ready so those are the original uh target target audience joke what's up um but so that's why i will be there thursday I, my man rico just got me a flight i'll be there thursday at like three o'clock so i don't know Texas and Arlington is far away. Am I going to have to take a long-ass Uber? I'm assuming I got to take a long-ass Uber. Um, But we'll see. Uh, I get there like 3 o'clock. Maybe I'll find somebody else. Or we can just Uber it up down to Arlington, Texas. I don't know shit about Texas. The only time I was in Texas was in Houston when I won the Mad Bowl. So I might be... I am undefeated in Texas. 2-0 and in the state of Texas. Me, right here. 2-0. and Undefeated. Never lost. So... All right, but that gives me my next point, and I want to talk about something that uh, I I was a little upset about. You know, escape artists, for, that's for bums. Escape artists are people that can't pass, you know what I'm saying? I don't think, I don't think much. All right, well, like I said, well, when Clowney goes to the Eagles, they might be hell. Was the dress code? I, I don't know what the dress code is. The dress code has... Apparently... And you guys bring up the dress code. The chat bring up the dress code. Apparently, this was Ghost's fault. This is what I've been told. I don't know who makes the rules. That, apparently, Ghost would always scratch his balls and, like, play with his, his little set, like, all, all day during it. You know? So, I didn't know that was... That was why. You know? I really didn't know that's why they have a dress code, but... That's apparently why they have a dress code. Now, me, myself, if I go, I'm going to go ahead and rock a... What else? I so, I, I I don't know what's going to happen. I I don't think I've ever played Madden with jeans on ever in my life, you know? I'm, I'm Me and Kiv might have to hit the mall down there in uh, Arlington and give me a lay. I might have to get a lay. Why? Every esports look like couch potatoes. What if we're playing a video game? And how do I've never looked like a couch potato in my life? When have I ever looked like a, to- a couch potato in my life playing Madden? Stop it. Yeah, so that that's how that works. But like I said, let's go on to my next topic, and that's something that I feel like I've I feel like I've done a lot. I feel like me myself, I have done a lot, you know, for the man community, you know. I've put a lot of money and energy and passion into the man community. And I didn't really um, address this um, this tweet at the time. But this hurt me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I do a lot, chat. You know, I feel like I do a lot. You know, I feel like, I, I feel like I'm an a, a important person in the man community. I feel like a lot of my energy 
has been used to try to help the grown man as much as possible. So, Joe tweeted that I'm not helping helping Amber grow because I keep hosting my homie. I've hosted a lot of people, and I will tell you this. First, first, listen. Now, first, I want to tell you guys that Twitch is work, man. It really is. A stream is work. It's very good. It's a very um. It's obviously very great because we get to play a video game for a living, you know, so it's awesome. So it's hard to really ever complain about it, but it's still work. So you get to a point where, you know, the more if the more you treat it like a job, the more rewarding it would be. So for me, I, I mean, probably I've been partnered for a little over 25 months, maybe 28 months or something like that. So for me... Um, I never really, and and the first thing I want to tell you guys about Twitch is that there's no channel that's made from a host. There's no channel that grow that you know is all of a sudden popping because of a host. I mean, we we can sit here and see EA has this is my point. EA is now listen. EA EA streams every day, right? And they have ten thousand people in the stream every day. Now they host somebody every single day, right? They've never hosted me. I don't know if they've hosted Joel, but this is my point. So they give 8,000, 7,000, 5,000 people to all these channels. But you don't all of a sudden see these channels popping up the next day with 5,000 people in them. So my point in that is that a host won't make the channel, honestly. The host, obviously, it helps and makes you pop for a day and people will be watching. But ultimately, man, it's about the work that you put behind the channel and the consistency that you have. There's really no... There's really no host that's going to just all of a sudden make your shit pop. You know what I mean? And even Clef, who I told Clef when I first wanted him on the team, I'm like, bro, you're going to be a star. But if Clef only streamed, if Clef put a little bit of work in, if Clef really didn't want to do it, his shit wouldn't be popping like it is. You know, it's all about the drive that you have as a person. You know, it's not going to be somebody else's job. And that's another thing about, man, if you're waiting for somebody else to help you, ain't nobody out here going to help you. Listen, you learn that shit in life. There's nobody out here... Nobody out here is gonna put you over themselves ever. That that's that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying, and y'all have to realize that that, that if you're gonna rely on, because people worried about their own money, people worried about their own name, their own brands. You know, so if you want to sit there and worry and wait for somebody else to help you, that help isn't coming really. You know, and and for me, I feel like I've done a lot. I feel like I always hold people, but ultimately, yes, Clef is um. Clef and, 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 and Shump are, they represent me. And so I will help them as best of my ability with everything, honestly, because, uh, and what I built with them is pretty much on just, you know, I believe in them and they believe in us. So for me, it's like, I'm going to try to help them as much as possible. I'm not, I'm not some giant organization. I'm not, you know, I don't have 2 million followers. I can't help them so much. But, uh, you know, I'll do everything in my power to make them become the stars that they are going to be. So for me, Vert, you got to stream, Vert. I'm, I'm, I'm about the content, man. We're about the content. You know? And uh, that's what I'm saying. So that's just how I feel, like, for real, man. Yeah, like I said, for me, it's like, one, if, if like I said, if somebody that essentially is going to make my business grow is on, they will 1,000% always get my host and always get my time. And I don't see what, why that's that's a problem because ultimately it's kind of like, it's kind of like keeping the viewers, you know? Like if I have a 1,000 viewers, right, and <laughs> I want to keep, like they're essentially still helping me, you know? I'm You know, so if they're watching Clef, it's helping me. It's helping, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how it works. But I don't know. I mean, that's just, and for me... I, why I didn't like it because I felt like I've done so much. I've done so much since I won a Madden belt. You know, I was a streamer before Mad before the Madden Bowl. You know, it wasn't the same. It wasn't as big as it is now. But that's because I put the work in to get it where it is. Honestly, um, so for me, uh, I, and I feel like I've done a lot since then, and a lot to uh, continue. To help the man community. I feel like I have hosted all y'all, man. I feel like if you're streaming, I've done hosted people before. But like I said, if my if my guys are on, 
that's where it's going to go. And that's where it's going to go until, until uh, that's where it's going to go. Just put it that way, you know, and, and, and I see no problem with that you know, because for me, it's bigger than just me. And, you know, eventually I want to get to a point where it's not about me anymore that I'm not even, I don't even need to stream anymore. Let me just sit home and, and get a whole army of people that stream with, with my brand, you know, but baby steps, you know, it's all, it's all a process, man. And that's how you got to approach everything. If you guys want to be streamers and everything, like nobody's going to give you shit. Like seriously, nobody's going to, nobody's going to hand you anything. You got to grind for this, man. If you're sitting there with five viewers watching you, I mean, listen, if you're, if you get six viewers tomorrow, that's a good day. You know, you have to have that approach, man. You can't just be waiting for other people to help you because they won't. People won't help you. And even if somebody helps you today, they damn sure not going to help you tomorrow. They damn sure not going to help you the next day. You know, so that's pretty much what I want, want you guys to be at, honestly. Why do y'all call Ish Tim? At Twitch Rivals, we will talk about that. And then we move on to the Twitch Rivals, as Joke brings that up in the chat. I mean, I'm excited about the Twitch Rivals. I have not gotten any type of invite for the Twitch Rivals. I would assume that... I would assume that I am on the Twitch Rivals. Um, I hope so. I don't really... I don't know. I hope I am. I would be very upset if I wasn't. Because $75,000, I don't know how they're going to throw this around. You know, I don't really know... Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I see $75,000, and I see, okay, that sounds like a move. It sounds like money we can throw around together. It sounds like, it sounds like, damn, now I'm really making some damn money. Like, this year, this past two months or whatever, it's like, yeah, now I'm really a gamer. You know, I'm really a professional gamer. And that 75000 for the Twitch Rivals seems like it could just make it that much more. Uh, so, we'll see. I mean, I... I mean, I said I was talking to Problem about it today. Um, he seems to know a lot more than me. So, you know, he'll put a good word in for all, all of us and make sure we throw around. Uh, like I said, good word. Make sure we all walk around away with some money. But honestly, I feel like who... Like, if you had 10 people from Matt and Twitch... Like, would Toke be in the shit? Is Toke going to just pop up and be like, yeah, I stream? Cause Toke probably got like the most followers and probably still got the most subs. Like, is he is he gonna count? Is Toke gonna come get some of this money? You know what I'm saying it's like, like, and then it's like, but where's Gut Fox? Gut Fox, Gut Fox got to be over. Gut Fox, shit, me and Gut Fox like the same person. Yeah, and then so it's other people like, all right, so yeah, the the because I listen, I no toke, man. If they doing around seventy five thousand, he gonna he gonna put the eyes up like, what's up? You know, yeah, Mav is Mav gonna be in the joint. So what we start talking about? Yeah, it's people that are on all day. There's people that are streaming Madden all day, and then you talk about that, yeah, then it's just us that we just talked about and Gut Fox and Skomo. Why would Skomo not be in the shit? You know. Yeah, so that's that's just how I feel, you know. No, nah, Taylor Gang, I'm Taylor Gang. I'm be real. You really not Taylor Gang. You not in this. You not in this conversation, man. Maybe two years from now, you be in a conversation. What wieners? Chewbacca? Do 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 the wieners stream? I don't know. I, I just look at people I follow. Yeah, when, when is Jeremiah? Is he going to be in the tournament? You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'll tell you this. X Factor, if Dub.W is not on this joint. I I'll tell you this. If Dub.W is not part of this Madden Twitch Rivals... Listen, somebody, I'm fighting somebody. I'm going crazy. I'll tell you that right now. Crazy. Like, I'm, listen. And chat, y'all better be with me. Chat, y'all better be with me. 
I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, GS could pop up out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you, I'd be sick. You know, so we'll see. I'm excited about it. Um, hopefully, it should be a good thing. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with EA. No, nah, I mean it, it is what it is, you know. We listen, chat. We know who's stream madden. We know who's on this shit every day. You know what I'm saying. If it's 24 invites, if I'm not top, listen. Royce, is that chair's right over there? It's not a dinner chair. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, you know, so I, I, I see opportunity for some money, so. Ezra, this is what I do, especially this time of year, man. If we, if I, if Madden could, if a new Madden could come out twice a year, oh man, I'd be, I'd be living good, real good, honestly. Real good. But, shout out to my man, Greasy Italian, man. Two month streak. Appreciate you. We'll see how it works. But like I said, that, I don't know. I don't know really what, uh, I don't really know what the details are. It just popped out today. I, I would be upset if I wasn't part of it, but. It is what it is. There's a lot of things I haven't been a part of in the last couple of years, so. We shall see. But then, let's go to my list. I made a list of my top five favorites for the Madden Classic. I made my list. I'm sure you guys have a list. But I do want to talk about my list. And you guys can clown my list. Because that's what you're going to do. You're going to kill my list. That's what you guys do. Kill lists. That's pretty much what the Twitch chat does. Now, here we go. This is my list of top five people, man. So, I want to tell you, before I start this, I want to uh, you guys to tell me your top five favorites in the chat. Who is your top five favorites going in to the Man Classic this weekend? Vilma is six joke we got a blank page right now this is called production chat this is called production all right far problem is not on my top five favorite list bugs is hey, hey lawrence that's a good five but bugs is not on the list jay bird's kind of jay bird's kind of close Old man's kind of close. Okay, okay. Now let me start with number five. Number five, I got Kiv. Always good. Nobody's seen Kiv play. Nobody knows if he's running the bunch, drink, drinking the punch. Nobody really knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? But Kiv is always a strong favorite. He's had his little disciples out playing and Joe Rice and Crush. And so when you watch them, you kind of you kind of get a vibe. That's what Kiv is doing because, you know, Joe Rice don't really do anything without being told. And Crush, Crush is, like I said before on the show, Crush is a little more unique. He's a little more independent. But Joe Rice is really just, Kiv, what do I do? Hey, what haircut do I get? Oh, my gosh, Kiv, how do I talk to girls? That's, that's pretty much Joe Rice. So let's move on. So I do like Kiv. So, I mean, Kiv is one of the best players, obviously, the last four years. So. Definitely got it. I feel like Kiv got me in everybody's top five. I got him at five. At number four, I got Journey. Journey, I, I feel like another guy that has to be in pretty much every discussion. You know, he's got to be in every discussion as far as 
you know, favorites to get in the game. And honestly, as I made this list, I looked at it and, and raised a point. Journey was kind of low on this list. But part of that goes to Kiv is that I haven't seen Journey play at all this year. I haven't seen Kiv play at all. This is strictly off reputation. The next two guys on the list I've seen play a lot. You know, so, but for me, Journey, I, I feel like Journey, out of, he gets to the top five. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, he had a great year last year, so boom. That's what I have. Number three is Joke. I got Joke because in the first two weeks or whatever it was, he pretty much dominated, uh, won the first Mutthead Road to the Classic, and he won the following um, Friday night. So I think Joke, honestly, this first month is playing really good Madden. He's got a lot of reps in, and uh, he's definitely played really good uh, so far, you know, so definitely, I think one thing about Joke, I think he, he said all the time, he put a lot of pressure on himself because I feel like he feels like he's not proven because he hasn't won a belt. So he puts a lot of pressure on himself to really perform. And I think they get almost to a point where he overthinks it. You know, he feels all that pressure and, and it's kind of like Peyton Manning with Super Bowls. Not that Joke is Peyton Manning. Let's fucking rewind because that sounded crazy. Oh, Jesus. But it's kind of like that where, uh, you know, where it's kind of um, Joe overthinks things. So, and then obviously, y'all guessed it, man. The next two, I got to go with Clef God. Uh, listen, Clef is an absolute demon right now. Um, the only reason he's not number one, because Skimbo won back to back. And he is the two time defending champion of the Man Classic. I'm not mad at this list. I don't know where you guys think this list is, man. I don't know how y'all can argue with the top two. Like, I don't know how that can be argued with the top two, really. Like, I think that's a good. I think that's a good two. I don't. I. I honestly don't think that. What? No, I would. I might put Ghost over Wesley. I don't know. Y'all putting with too much Wesley, bro. <laughs> Bugs. And, listen, joke. Just take Bugs' name out, and that list isn't bad. I feel like this is an honest list. Mo, Mo, Mo might crack in the top ten. I think Mo, Mo biggest strength has been playing these type of tournaments. So Mo definitely, he, he get a love. You know, I, I, I think we, we gassing Wesley too much, and that's why I was like, all right, what do you want me to do with the top? Like, who are we putting popping over right now? That's my question. You know, a sleeper. Oh, I think Crush. Is Crush even a sleeper? I think Crush, I, I, I think he's played really good when I watched him play early in the year so far. I think Crush is really good. Kerry, bro, I mean, always think Kerry's going to be good. That's the thing. Kerry just fucking pit. Chat, come here. Let's go back to this screen. Kerry just been pissing me off for like five years, dude. Every time it's easy to run, Deuce Close might be good. Oh, this Kerry type of game, he lay the fuck down. Ain't no game Kerry type of game. No. No. I'm done believing in the train. That's my guy. I hope we go out and have a good time. But I'm done believing in the Kerry train. I don't care how easy, how good stretch is. I don't care how good the Cowboys are. I'm not believing in the Kerry train no more. That shit done aggravated me, man. No, Jay Bird, no. Fitz, uh, Jay Bird, and VY. VY is different. VY can't go in the Fitz and Jay Bird category. And Jay Bird, you can't be in the category with VY and Fitz. No, Jay Bird, you can't. They pass better than you. 1,000%. Jay Bird, if it came to passing, you'd be better off with the house rules where you can't make any hot routes and you just call play. You'd be better off playing like that. You're actually disrespecting VY and Fitz by putting you in that group. You and Oreo, like Oreo and Jaybird, boom, that's it. That's a realm. That is a realm of people that just don't have buttons on their controller when they have to pass. Because I, because VY, respect VY. Fitz is kind of, Fitz flirts with that realm though. Fitz might be in a realm with no buttons when passing. I'm serious. I don't know, but VY, I, I, I'll give VY as a little, VY, VY is not in the realm. Like, he's a little bit, he's a little bit, and Kerry's not y'all around, Kerry's not in the, K, 
Carrie's not in the realm of people that can't pass. Carrie's in the realm of, I swear to God, he's high every time he plays an important game. Like, don't Carrie be in the joint like, this high. Bl- Ain't that how Carrie play? Am I lying? Everybody else be like this. Carrie just be like. Crossing his feet and shit. I swear to God. Swear to God. I'm telling you. That, and that's why I'm all, I can't be on the carry train no more. No, I'm off of it. I'm off of it. I'm off of the carry train, dude. Every time every time he plays the game, he's just too relaxed. He just he don't really care. Like he really don't care. Like he don't give a shit. Carry life is that crazy that he really just don't give a shit. He play every game like it's the same game. It's weekend league. It's the final eight game and whatever it is, carry just And you guys know I'm telling the truth because that's how he be. I'm telling you, it's the worst. Like, this is the worst. I can't believe in that train anymore. So, as I get back to this list, and we talk about, I'm telling you. Now, and we talk about more sleepers. I said Crush, but Crush is probably, like, if somebody made a list, Crush would probably be in the top 20. Um, Man, we talk about more sleepers. I, first of all, probably somebody that's going to run the ball, play good defense. I can't even think to it. Holly? I don't know what the hell Holly's doing. No, Holly might be the Kawhi. Who could be a sleeper? No, it's not K-Mac, K- but that's if it was one game. No, nah, Wesley, you're probably like eight. I would put Ghost over Wesley. I would put maybe Pavin over Wesley. Definitely would put Fitz over Wesley if Wesley won. VY? VY? Blocky? Blocky sleep. Okay. No, problem is not in my top five. Problem is not going. Manu? Yo. I don't know, man. Like I said, Skimbo's a nerd. I, I'm, listen, the more, I'm telling you, he's a nerd. Like, he's a nerd. He's the opposite of Kerry. Skimbo, 1,000%. He's the opposite of Kerry. Like, I just did the Kerry impersonation. Skimbo is, oh, my gosh, my quarterback is, he's he's orange. He's going to overthrow this pass. I have to take some time in the clock. Okay, let me look at the clock. I am on the left hash. I'm at a 38-yard line. That means my throw will go 15 yards. If it goes 15 yards, the DB will not cover it. If it goes 16 yards, the DB will get there. I have to throw it at the perfect timing. If his lurk is to the left, I will look to the right. If I look to the right, I look to the left, and then I'll be able to do that and be able to open up the seam, and I can hit the seam. Depends on where he lurks, and that's where it is. Okay, I got two yards. Okay, let's take our time in the huddle now. Swear to God, he's the fucking opposite of Kerry, 1,000%. You know, I, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, uh, you know, I, it's fucking terrible, man. I'm tired. It's so bad. I'm like, yo, Skimbo, bro. You got to get and I'm telling you, like, I saw, this is what Skimbo says. I saw him do, <laughs> like, I was like, Dan Skimbo, how you make that read? He's like, well, I saw him do five adjustments to his the secondary. That means he pressed. That means he shaded outside. That means he put a yellow zone. That means he put a purple zone. That also, if he puts a purple zone, he can't have a deep blue zone. So if he doesn't have a deep blue zone, I'll put him on a fade. And that way, if I put him on a fade, he'll get one step behind the left shoulder of the DB. And if he gets by the left shoulder of the DB, I can throw the pass. Now, most people will say that it doesn't look good, but I know because I've practiced this a million times that it will be open. If I catch the ball with my left foot on the sideline, then it will be inbounds. If I catch it with my right foot on the sideline, it'll be out of bounds. Swear to God. Swear to God, this is the shit I hear in Discord. And then, and then he says, you know what, W, you know, I, I I just don't like the way you're running my cover three on, on stream. Uh, let's not run cover three. No, you can't run cover. No, do not put deep halves in your cover three because that's what I do. Once you show them that you can do that, they will know how to put deep halves in cover three. Don't do that. But like, Skimbo, can I run dollar? No, you can't run dollar. Don't put dollar on screen. Don't put that on stream. No. But like, Skimbo, can I run bunch? No, don't run bunch. Don't run verticals. Don't run verticals with the wheel route. And then everybody will know that's what's hot nowadays. Swear to God. Don't run cover three. I dead ass don't run cover three. I got told don't run cover three. This guy Skimbo, dead ass chat. Where's my phone? He said, W, guess what? I had a dream. It was a nightmare. I woke up sweating. You were running all my offense and defense on stream. I swear to God. <laughs> this was like two days ago. 
You were running all my offense on stream. I swear to God, I gotta show y'all this, man. He been put he put emojis and shit. I swear to God. <laughs> I told y'all <laughs> I had a dream I'm telling y'all Like yo don't run bunch I saw how you ran bunch Don't throw the vertical route in the end zone I do that That's what I do I swear to God, it's no fun. Y'all wonder why I'm ass. I can't do shit good. Okay, okay. Are y'all gonna fucking call Skimbo? Go ahead. Be fucking weirdos, dude. Just be weirdos. Go ahead, call him. Like Jesus Christ. Like I'm really just be think I really just think people are weird. Oh yeah, wait, who else number y'all want? Like what type of weirdo shit is that shit? Go ahead. Like, y'all act like y'all can hack. Y'all can get his credit card now. Ooh, they have his phone number. Ooh. Ooh. People are so fucking weird, dude. And on top of that, let some weird shit happen. All you gotta do is go block. And then what, what are you gonna do? Some people are weird to do what? He's gonna have to change. Yeah, I know. Listen, YouTube, man. This is what I want y'all to do, right? This is what I want. Take Skimbo's number and just text him. Dubby's fucking better than you. And put pussy at the end, all right? All right, that's what you got to just text that shit, all right? Pussy at the end with all C's, all right? <laughs> just press it at the end. <laughs> pussy. Hey, you got, that's what you got to do. Then he going to be like, damn, he going to be sick. Like, he going to be sick. Like, he going to be like, w, you know, you put my offense on the stream. You put my defense on the, my cover three. You know, I was the only person running cover three with hard flats, you know, and you put that out and now everybody runs cover three with hard flats. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how it got out, you know, and sometimes I realize just being your friend just isn't worth it because my cover three hard flats got out to the public, you know. It's just it's unbelievable. But now you put my phone number out, you know, and now people are calling me. They're calling me all types of pussies. <laughs> Tell y'all, man. That's how it be, chat. Y'all don't understand. Them bugs are fake streamer. I'm not gonna get on the bugs shit there. Dude. I I'm not gonna tell bugs jokes. It's not bugs jokes time. It's not. It's not. There's no jokes for bugs. You know, there's no more joke. I'm not joking. On, like I, we kill bugs too much on this chat. We kill bugs too much. We got. It is not. We're not gonna kill bugs this week. You know what I'm saying we're not gonna kill. We're not. I'm not like it's just too. Yeah, it's just alley oops to to kill bugs, and I don't want to do that today. Like I don't want to. I don't want to do that today. Cause bugs really think like this was crazy. Bugs thinks he's really like the man because like bugs on the rankings. Holy shit! Bugs is next to Jaybird. Wherever the fuck 87 is, that's where Bugs and Jaybird right there. Bugs and Jaybird is right there battling. Battling for 87. Six to ten on the rankings. I mean, uh, now we getting crazy. All right, let's see. Let's see what six and ten would do. 87. All right, Boogs versus Jaybird right now. Who y'all like? That's who's number 87. The other one's 88, Chad. Who you like? In the chamber. Boogs with his Grazy Life tee on and his Cauliflower steak. Or Jaybird with his Montanet shit, his jersey. He got a jersey. Who you like? In the chamber. You like Bugatti Boogs or you like Burger Bird? <laughs> Who you like? That's what I'm saying. That's who's 87. That's who's 88. 
I mean, Jay Bird, you hell. That's why I'm. I'm shit. You talk about eighty seven. I'm a hundred and four. Shit, I don't even have. A, I don't even have a ticket. I don't have a ticket to get in. I'm not even on the list. My record. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I don't talk to people without belts. Like uh, I can only be cap at like eight people in Madden. Like really, if you if you don't have a belt, like keep that shit moving somewhere else. That's that's it. So stop capping at me. All right. Sometimes you just gotta put the sometimes you just gotta put the big strap on the deck like this and just put it out there and let her see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what's up? And they really can't say shit. Bugatti Bugs or Burger Bird, who you like? Bugatti I, I might like Burger Bird. I might like Burger Bird. Burger Bird kind of hell. Sometimes you gotta put the strap. No, it's not Bird. Now we told Jay Bird. At, we told Jer Jay Bird. We told Jay Bird at um, Foxwoods. He gotta go. He gotta go by the name Mr. Bird. He gotta get rid of this Jay Bird shit. It's gotta be Mr. Bird. It's gotta be Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird is a way tougher name than Jay Bird. Booby Bird. <laughs> Booby Bird is kind of hell too. But we thought Mr. Bird. No, not Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. You have to be a professional, all right? Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird. We told, yo, Vilma was like, yo, this is hell. Yeah, I tell that fist, fist, fist magic, sir. Mr. Bird is tough. He's still J Bird, though. I'm still J Bird. You know, it's, kids don't have a heart. Sometimes you have to realize the shit you're doing is whack and you got to change it. You know? Like, like, like for, for example, 49er. Remember when his name was Playbook for two months and he thought that shit was it? Like, he told everybody, like, streamers, streamers, like, people, when people watch streams, they're, like, one, one word names, they, like, one word they can read, playbook is gonna blow up. And then he realized this shit was ass, and he, he circled back to 49er, right? Sometimes you gotta realize what you're doing is ass. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that was a legendary time on Twitch, though, dude, that <laughs> playbook. <laughs> he said he was like yo like ninja and shroud it's gonna be playbook <laughs> yo cookbook <laughs> yo cookbook <laughs> Stop killing people, man. <laughs> oh man, my man, play, playbook. <laughs> Stream, like shroud and ninja. It'll be playbook. He really thought that shit was gonna pop, but but this goes to my point. He quickly realized that shit was ass, and changed it back to 49er. Like like Jay Bird needs to realize Jay Bird ain't is really not that hot. But Mr. Bird, you pull up on a bitch and say, my, my name is Mr. Bird. They think you're the man. Just saying. Like, if, if he, Mr. Bird and grows just a mustache, phew, Jesus Christ. You talk about a legend. That's a legendary Madden player. So if, if he was Mr. Bird, I'd take him over Bugs. He'd be 87. But I might have to go Bugs over Jay Bird. Top five favorites were Kev, Drenny, Joke, Clef, and Skimbo. These were my top five favorites. They said let me do the next six to ten. But I feel I feel like uh, it's pretty, you can pretty much say anything. Watch me work. What's up? Mo, who you got? Who's your five, Mo? I feel like my five is good. I feel like this is a solid five. Mo, I said you'd be like 12, something like that. You might be 12. Cracking claws? I have a I have a CFM game to play, and I went 0-1, so I need to get on the field the right way. So you're right, I might have to crack a claw. You know what I'm saying? But that's my five. 
I don't have 10K more. I bet $10. If I had 10K sitting around. I mean, we could definitely make that bet, though. But if I don't have 10K, I'll be... <laughs> I don't have 10k. I bet a hundred. <laughs> All right, how about this? Give me Clef and Skimbo, and myself if they let me play, and you can pick three. That's what I'll do. Listen, Zach, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be there. I will be somewhere. If I'm not there, I will be at the bar across the street. Yeah, you can three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we'll figure this out, man. We will figure this out. Bro, Miz, I went over this already, bro. By the time I figured out I was going to go, you know, a couple situations I had to straighten out and make sure I was allowed. I went to sign up. It was a week before it closed, and the shit was full. For the last week and a half, I've been trying to, like, just make sure I could be the next man up or something. So I don't, I'm not registered at all. And 100 people... Find my backers. So we'll see, man. I heard about, I mean, listen. I'm not the biggest porn star fan. You know, um... I'm not saying that because that sounds wrong. Like, my point is, my, I'm not that hyped for that because it's like, why am I, why, why am I going to Tiana Trump and Brittany Renner's party? Like, what are they gonna do for me? They not fucking me. They not fucking you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, I'm worried about, I'm worried about, you know, the fives and sixes that sit at the bar. Wesley, I ain't picking Bugatti Bugs. Y'all gotta, gotta let me get another third. Another, another third. Fuck it, I pick Bugatti Bugs. But I have Clef and Skimbo. I could, we could carry Bugatti Bugs. Are you sure gonna be at Kiv? See, you know. See, that's why I'm in Kiv right here. Like, we not going to Britney Renner shit. No, we going to some other shit on the low where the hoes really at. Clef not gonna come out to the party. Clef and Skimbo not gonna come out to the last night. They, they be on that, oh, you know, I got to focus. I got to play my best Madden tomorrow. And honestly, Kiv could be on that, I got to play my best Madden tomorrow stuff. I really don't know. Only time I've ever been out with Kiv is when he has no important games to play. You know? Oh, man. Okay, Mac. Okay, Mac. Don't. I see y'all can't just start talking crazy. That's, that's. When they start talking, that's how Clef talked. That's how Clef talked. First night on the cruise, he ain't see Cardi B. I was front row with Cardi B. Talk about press, 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 press. Drunk as shit. I, by myself. You know why? Because the whole squad passed out. That's why. Clef said the same shit. Yeah, I'm Clef. Huh. I'm Clef God. Huh. Huh. Clef come up. He 5'8". Talking about I can drink with you, W. I can drink. Yeah. I can drink. Five eight ass motherfucker drink with me. I said, <laughs> okay. I said, okay. Press, 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 press. Right in the front row. Where the fuck was Clef? Sleep, 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 sleep. Talking about waking up. He he woke up in the morning. Talking about, damn man, why y'all let me sleep? <laughs> why y'all let me sleep, man? I was like, shit. That's bad, man. That's what happened. So we'll see what happens this week. Listen, I will be there no matter what. You know, so I will be there having fun. It's going to be good to see a lot of y'all. Meet some of you new booties. Pause. I, you know, some of you new people that's going to die never met before. That's going to be cool. Uh, see some people that I ain't seeing. Shit. Long ass time, really. Um... Now everybody want, why do everybody want to drink somebody? Like, that's the college shit. I wanna, I, no, I just want to have a good time. You know, and I have to, I don't want my friends to pass out before the good time happens. That's what happened on the cruise with Clef. He was passed out before Cardi B and the baby got on stage. All the hoes was out there twerking. My squad is asleep. 
Well, only one man could fight a, only such a good fight with all the hoes twerking. I could only fight so much. You know, when you're trying to fight a, a, a flock of hoes, you need an army with you. And my army was sleep. So I just want to make sure that in Texas I have an army. You know, that's really, really want, want to have fun. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to out drink people. That's not the goal. Like, what the hell? Oh, I'll drink you. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm going to pass out and be sick all night. No. Squad was rocked, chat. Squad was rocked. My squad was rocked. Maddox, what up? Nah, that's, they don't want to go with the guy. With, see, you don't, y'all don't understand how the, the women and how this stuff works. Because, okay, so it says eight girls, all right? So if there's eight girls, one, there's two fat ones. Cool, that's one for Kiv. He good, he, he with it. But that's, I'm saying that's that's another one for Wesley. Because Wesley going to do whatever the hell Kiv does. So if Kiv gets a fat girl, Wesley's going to get a fat girl. Good, we out the way. Now we have six other chicks. Okay, boom. One of them's going to be tired of shit. They feet hurt, right? Other one's going to be hungry, right? Boom. So now we got to feed one bitch. We got to sit another bitch down. Okay. Now we're down to four bitches. <laughs> I'm one married. She want to go home. So you got to have somebody to talk to her that's married want to go home. That's boogs. He want to just talk about life. Oh, yeah, that's my wife and my girls. We have so much fun. We eat cauliflower steak. Yes, boogs talks to her. Okay, so now you have three other chicks. If Clef not sleep, he might get one. <laughs> right? So... And then now you got two. Now it's just uh, so that's pretty much how it works. So that's why you can't do shit by yourself. Like you can't find eight chicks by yourself. <laughs> it can't happen. <laughs> no, Kim, no, Kim don't want the big bitch. But he, if if that's what he need to do for the squad, he will be, like he'll he'll be down for the squad. Kiv is 1,000%. Kiv is, is, you know what I'm saying, he Draymond Green. If he got to get a rebound, he'll get a rebound. If he got to hit a three, he'll try. If he got to, you know, punch somebody in the face, he'll punch somebody. Kiv really is Draymond Green. He is the Draymond of going out, 1,000%. 1,000%. So that's what I'm saying. Because everybody else is going to be bougie and not want to take the fat chick. He's going to take the fat chick. And like I said, Wesley's going to be like, ooh, this is what Kiv does. Okay, ooh, I'm in for a ride. Ooh, ooh. That's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying <laughs> that's how it's gonna work. Like, so we shall see, man. It might, it might be, it might be a shot for sub live stream at the club. That's what it might be, but it will only be sub only. This is honestly, this is, I'll tell you, the sub only live broadcast from Texas might pop. So if you're not sub, you better sub. <laughs> the first thing Kim texted me was like, yo, we getting Wesley and Crush to come out? <laughs> I was like, what? That's a prize, man? Like, yeah, it's going to be tough. Books, you was in the bushes before we went live. Books was in the bushes while we were chilling, talking about the day. We were talking about the day. Like, yo, how was your drive? He was like, yeah, it was good. You know, it was four hours. I'm like, yeah, my drive was like eight hours. Yeah, it's good. Next thing we know, he in the bushes. We ain't even go live yet. It's about, man, Skip, that's how you know we ain't shit. Skip, it's like, we're bugs. Skip was like, I just started dancing again. Like, ain't nobody giving a shit. Then he came back at the club looking rough. We're like, where were you at? He's like, yo, man, I was in the bushes. I told y'all I needed something to eat. Jeez. <sighs> Apparently, straight from the beater, so will be a good time. Is Stevie J in the building though? See, Stevie J and never one. Stevie J, when he go out, he part, like he just he be in the mix. Talk about something. He beat up the press, 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 press. He, yo, Stevie J is a press, 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 press. He that type. 1,000%. Yes. Stevie J be with the shits. With the shits. Mm-hmm. Yes. He be with the shits. Yes. Bugs ain't pulling no vegetarian. A vegetarian don't want another vegetarian? That's fucking boring. You don't ever see vegetarians date. Like, listen, y'all don't see vegetarians date each other. No. You want one person that want the meat, pause, 
and the other person eat the veggies. That's why the opposites attract. Books don't be like, ooh, she a vegetarian, ooh. And bitches don't ever be hyped that you a vegetarian, ever. When would that ever come up in conversation, ever? Golly. Like, if you're a vegetarian as a man, I'll bring that shit up last case scenario. Like, I'm not bringing that shit up till we, like, pretty much get married. Oh, by the way, I don't really eat meat. Like, that's bad. That's that's not a good thing to bring up all the time, you know? So keep that a secret. You get to the point where, like, okay, so you're meeting a chick. So you go out to dinner, right? Get some soup or something or go with a pasta dish. You know, don't don't just say, I want, I'm a vegetarian. Don't bring that shit up ever, you know? I'm not roasting bugs. This is not roasting bugs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah but, but said, that's something you pull out with nothing else working. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm a vegetarian. First of all, all vegetarians are 130 pounds. Don't no bitch want no man that's 130 pounds. No. Listen, and and, and I respect Boogs because he's 130 pounds and he, he's he got a nice wife. And that's my friend. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know how he did it. It must have been. See, the, the thing that Boogs did was that he met his wife when they were like children. So they were both 130 pounds. Like the, there weren't any options of grown men to date at the time when he met his wife. You know, so he secured the bag before other men like actually grew up. You know, so they're all kids and everybody, everybody was the same size. And yeah, he yeah, that's all. Then he just stayed. He stayed toddler size. Everybody was grew, and she had no choice. You know what I'm saying? That was that's kind of glitchy, honestly. Yeah, he got grandfathered into to a nice woman, man. He was a lucky man. Not in 30 pounds. <laughs> there you go. Look. See? Look. My man Om Om Omnitron did it too. Omnitron did it too. He said, I knew my wife since fourth grade. <laughs> oh, he glitched the system. Yo, he glitched the system. Oh man, that shit is bad. I ain't been 135. Niner, you was never 135, bro. You was in Little League knocking people to help. Niner, come on, bro. Niner, you in 135, cuz. Playbook, we playbook. We talked about your name switch for one your one month name switch. Oh, hold on, wait. So, so Wesley weighs less than Bugs? Hold on, wait. Who's heavier, Bugs or Wesley? Pause if this is y'all get. Cause YouTube, y'all be taking this. Y'all be taking my pauses too far. Who is heavier? Bugs is heavier than Wesley. <laughs> Damn. Wes and Boogs is a battle on the court. I want to listen. Wesley worked on the farm. All right, man. All right, we got we got to listen. Wow. Wesley, you really one thirty, bro? I thought you were like six foot tall. Are you really? Are you a high schooler too? Niner, you're right, man. That's how I looked. That's how I looked in junior college, too, man. I was, I was like 210 pounds. Yeah, I was the man. Joe is 5'8". Oh, my God. Wesley, you one of these? Oh, my God. Bro, I'm convinced, man. If man players had to fight like 2K players, we might lose, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know if we could beat the 2K players in a fight. Now, we just had a big-ass rumble, like the top 50 man players and top 50 2K players. We might lose because man, man players, we don't got a lot of people. We would have Earl. That'd be a tough. I 
I mean, I, I, I honestly, all the 2K players I've seen, I'd whoop all their asses. I'll be honest, I'd whoop all their all they, all they asses. Like, all their asses. Like, all, all, all their asses. But after, like, the top 10 and man, it kind of gets a little, it kind of gets a little slim, honestly. Like, it kind of gets a little slim. I'm be honest. I whoop all the asses. Now, J. Wall going to say, listen, I will tell you this right now. Ain't no J. Wall, ain't no Wesley, ain't no Bugs. I could fight J. Wall, Bugs, and Wesley at the same time. Literally will beat the shit out of them. Talk about technique. Any man that says technique in a fight, listen, if you're not a professional, okay, if Floyd comes up to me and say, W, I whoop your ass, I got technique. I will say, Floyd, you're right. But if J. Wall, if some regular human says that shit, oh, you're going to whoop their ass. Guaranteed. You're going to whoop their ass. Guaranteed. There's no regular human being that says technique. Technique. <laughs> All right. All right. We done. Oh, man. I got to stop. I told you, I'm not saying bugs jokes tonight, bro. We're not saying bugs jokes tonight. That's I'm chilling on bugs. Bugs about to win a belt. <sighs> Take me. Bugs on with a belt. Who wins the belt first, though? Jay Bird or Bugs? If Jay Bird beat Bugs to a belt, Bugs got to retire. Bugs got to retire. Bugs, like, and I'm worried about Bugs. And I'll tell you why I'm worried about Bugs. It's like this. It's like, Bugs is drifting further and further away from me and Skimbo. And he, he getting closer to Zan and them guys. Like he and so I don't, it's probably gonna hurt his Madden game, you know he he's been surrounded by championship caliber players and then he's just going he's going too much to the Zan side. Next thing you know he's gonna be running like single back wing some shit you know because he says Zan said that shit was hot it beats the meta, you know so I'm I'm a little we're a little worried about bugs you know what I'm saying, and this is the news alert and I don't know if y'all know this because I I wanted to keep this private. Bugs is no longer the best black player in my Discord. Confirmed. Taylor Gang has passed him in the black Madden player rankings in my Discord. He has passed him. I don't know what the exact rankings are, but I know Taylor Gang is above Bugs right now. You know? So that that, that it's getting rough right now. So it, Listen, crush, I'm telling you what, it's not about him being a hell. He he get into Bugs' head. Cause Bugs was clinging to that. Bugs, Bugs is like he didn't have a belt. He didn't have nothing. He just knew he was the best black player in our circle. Well, then once Clef got, you know what I'm saying, then it was like not really a question. Then it just became rankings. You know, he knew he wasn't the best, but he knew he was he wasn't the lowest. But now, once Taylor Gang passed over Bugs, yo, the Discord, the Discord is in a frenzy right now, chat. The Discord is in a frenzy. It's in a frenzy. And Bugs got Taylor Gang thinking he tough. Like, Taylor Gang think he really it right now because he be popping Bugs. Like, he don't just be popping him. He just be it, bro. It just be, it be bad in the Discord. But I do like Bugs is probably, Bugs is probably in my top, he probably in my top 20 favorites. He probably up there. You know, but Bugs has been on that crazy broadcast schedule where he's in a different city every weekend and he's off. So he's been working like hard all weekend or all month, you know. So we'll see if it affected his Madden game at all, you know. Oh, oh, crash, he was. <laughs> he was hyping him up. <laughs> nah, Miz, you, Miz, you, Miz, you. Yeah, I know you ass. I know you ass. But anyway, chat. I'll tell you guys, man. This we are up over an hour ten minutes. <laughs> Taylor game the best I played. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, it's GGs for bugs. <laughs> 
Hey, Bugs, you ain't say that, Bugs. You ain't come in here and say, Tell Gang the best I played. You ain't say that. <laughs> oh, man. Bugatti Bugs. But like I said, man, this was the Need of Pockets, episode 44. So if you're on YouTube, hit the like button. Comment on some shit that you heard during the thing. Comment on if you're a vegetarian or not. And if you know women that like men that are 130 pounds. Uh, I don't know any, but, you know, you might know. I mean, you, one of your cousins or something might have a little little man fetish or something like that. You know, who knows? But uh, please hit the like button and comment, man. This... 44 weeks, chat. 44 weeks of Madden. 44 weeks of podcasts that y'all have listened to. We are closing in on one year. One year. I believe, honestly... I want to say something wrong. Because my first podcast was a couple weeks after uh, Jacksonville last year. It might have been a month after Jacksonville. I don't remember. But we're closing in on one year, chat. We are closing in the one year. And um, that'd be dope. So I think going down the line of Madden, uh, I'm just thinking in a couple years, this podcast be really popping. I'm excited next week, man. I Listen, if I get to play, maybe I'll be the champion. You know, maybe I'll get fluky. I'll get all the fumbles. I'll get all the love and play 10, 15 straight games of goodness. I picture that, uh, you know. <laughs> but... I'll probably be talking to the Madden Classic champion next week. Um, so that would be really exciting. And I really appreciate that every champion last year got on the podcast and talked to me, including Clef when he won the DreamHack. So five champions I talked to last year uh, on the podcast. So I want to continue to make this a staple in Madden and continue to keep growing. That's all. And that's the reason why if Clef is on, he will always get my host no matter what. You know, and if, listen, and if you're upset about that, all you have to do is is get your own business, bring it, uh, go get an LLC, you know, build a brand, get to the point where you can have other people helping your brand, and you can have a dynasty, and then you can host whoever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because you built it from the ground up. You know, you can do whatever the hell you want. But until then, just continue clocking what I do, because I enjoy that. The more people that clock what I do, the more successful we are. But, like I said, hit the like button, the Need a Podcast 44.